Hello, everybody. You're all looking very um, intimidating, so <laughs> I'll just get on with it. So recently, um, the Irish people were told that we were going to have to start paying for water. And this made people very unhappy and sparked wide range nationwide <laughs> protests. Um, there's a common misconception that um, because we live in a country where it rains all the time that, you know, there's lots of water. So why, why, should, we, why should we have to pay for it, you know? Um, it's everywhere. But the reality is all water has to be treated, whether it's coming into your house or going out. Um, so my research looks to evaluate the, the environmental impact with treating our water. What, 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 what else is going on in the environment? So life cycle assessment, it's, um, or LCA, it's, a, it's an ana analytical tool that um, assesses the environmental, all the environmental impacts associated with a product or a system from cradle to grave. So from the acquisition of raw materials to material processing, manufacturing, packaging, distribution, the use phase, and finally to disposal or end of life phase. And yes, uh, surfboards were manufactured from steel back in the 1920s and packaged around in cardboard boxes. So the same, the same um, principles can apply to, um, to assessing how, what the environmental performance is of a wastewater treatment plant. You, you still have inputs. So the main input would be your, your, your water, your wastewater that's coming into your plant. But there, there are lots of other processes that people don't really think about when you think about wastewater, like the electricity that's used the lime that's used to stabilize sludge, the chemicals that go into it, the transport. And there's, there's other direct emissions that we have. We have the sludge, ew, uh, effluent, and we have landfill. So all of these processes, they all have inputs and outputs. And when we add all of these inputs and outputs together, we get what, what's called the life cycle inventory, which is just a, a big load of data. So what can we do with this information? Well, when we put this information together, we can predict by how much and what areas of the environment are getting impacted the most. So what would you think when you think, well, okay, so wastewater treatment, what's the biggest impact? You think of uh, dirty water somewhere. Well, would it surprise you to know that the biggest impact is our electricity production. It has by far the greatest percentage impact over all of the other processes that, that happen with wastewater treatment. And it, 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 contributes, it, it contributes to far more impact categories, such as global warming, acidification, ecotoxicity, human toxicity, photochemical oxidation, or, or smog. Um, and why is that? Well, it's because the Irish electricity mix is very, very heavily dependent on fossil fuels. Over 75% of, uh, of our ESB mix comes from fossil fuels. And that's where the damage really happens. So what do, we hope, what do I hope to do with this information? Well, we hope to be able to advise the plant operators on the best approach to optimizing, not just from a, from a cost basis, but also from, more from an environmental basis um, for the operation of our plants. So to sum up, putting a value on water is not about money. Well, not just about money. It's also about conserving Ireland's environment now and into the future. I have no affiliation to Irish water, by the way. <laughs> Thanks for listening.